Good day, everyone. It's 8.29 a.m., and we'd like to see what happened uh, at the Globex. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of the risk in the future trading. We had a very nice run on the DAX, and uh, five minutes actually today, they were really did very well. And what I love about it is only one trade. So this one here on the three minutes, nailed 11,567 based on one trade, market order, plus minus one take, slippage. And then we had uh, the five minutes, uh, we nailed 1144, 441, and 97. So we had a very nice run all day long. So let's look in the bigger picture here. Uh, this is the first trade you see it uh, is uh, on the three minutes chart. It's right here. It's the same one. And nailed 11, 5, 6, 7. On the ES, we had, this is the ES right there. It's the 620 takes. One trade, 2,800. I mean, I like... Uh, uh, the higher time frame, also the CL, if you notice, also made 11.40 on the CL. And we had one and two trade, 11.40 on the CL. Then we have this one here, the DAX for range, 11, 1,125. Then this one here is the five minutes, one trade, beautiful trade. Very nice entry. And then we have the 150 takes. One trade on the 150 takes, 35.45. It is beautiful trade. Then we have the 288 takes. 55, 68, one trade, and those all the DAX. We cover the ES, then let's go on the four range. ES, beautiful, one losing trade, one winning trade, 1140. And this one here, 24, 25, is right there. It is, sorry, this is the full range right there. One trade, beautiful entry. Then we have also, this one, it is a small one, 700. It's the 244 takes. I mean, sometimes what is nice about those, uh, we put the target 500, and if this market trend in, then the the auto trade stay with the trend and then will close so what is nice about it you don't have to sit down and optimize your daily uh, profit or uh, you need to tweak with the setting it is off and on basis so you don't have to deal with the trailing stop you don't have to deal with the optimization tweaking uh, optimize targets, optimize stop losses. You don't have to do anything. It's just easy, very friendly use. And uh, you can see uh, it is really uh, very straightforward. This one here, 762. Uh, this one here is the ES 150 ticks. Then we have the ES 288 ticks. 775, we have one losing trade, two winning trade. And then we have the three minutes ES. 
did very well. And if you notice on the DAX and the minutes, the DAX and the ES, is the three minutes and the five minutes, they are extremely uh, very consistent. And as I said before, uh, once your auto trade can work on minutes, then you can move on to any different time frame. This is a beautiful trade, no optimization, no tweaking with the market, no tweaking with the trailing stop, trying to figure out the all the setting and optimizing backward, test forward, and all this. It, sometimes it can take a trader six months. So we made it easy. Uh, we put a basic $500 target, and if this market trending, you get whatever you get. So if today the 244 takes me 2400, could be tomorrow 700, could be 500, could be flat. But at least we know we did our job nicely and we didn't go wrong. So the whole idea is if this market moving, we are making money. If this market not moving, none of us is making money. So this one here, 2990, this is the YM 244 takes one trade. And this is beautiful. One trade and call it off for today. No use to, to keep trading all day long. So let's jump on the second one is the YM five minutes. This is not bad, very nice, clean cut, one trade and get it over with. This is the five minutes. Then we have the YM 288 ticks, nailed the 3000. Let's look at it, magnify that. Uh, we had a very nice entry. Also, all of them one shot. And this one, YM, 3,000, this is very serious one. Again, look at the NASDAQ. If we notice on the YM, this is your Y, uh, sorry, this is your YM, and this is your NASDAQ. So this one here is 3,020, and this one, 3,015. And if you notice, uh, this is really nice. They're both, they're, they're very, very, very nice, clean, no headache. On the NASDAQ, 150 takes, we nailed 1260. We had one losing trade on it. Fair enough. This one here, 2585. This one here is the NASDAQ 288, it's right there. And also, beautiful, nice trade. Then after that, we have the 1240. And this one here is a minute. And also, again, you can notice the minutes are extremely powerful. And here is your one minute. We have one breaking even. Losing trade, small one, and then nailed it. 1240. This is not bad at all. CL for the CL traders. Uh, I mean, today is Wednesday, but that's okay uh, on the Globex. Uh, the four range, one trade. This is a very nice clean cut, 100 take. And this is again the one minute. Let's look the one minute. Uh, this is, uh, we had one losing trade and one winning trade, and it was over, and that is the minute. This is the beauty about an auto trade can cover on one minute. Once the auto trade be, is consistent on the one minute, then you can move to anything you like. Uh, a lot of questions about Renko Bar. I mean, we have a Renko Bar. I'm using it just a normal Ninja Trader Renko Bar to simplify it. This is 1780 on a Renko Bar. But this is a small one, six Renko Bar on the NASDAQ is 605. And then this is a YM8 Renko Bar, 1755. And this is just a Ninja 
uh, uh, Renko. I mean, we have a Renko, but I'm just, for the heck of it, I'm not a Renko lover. But uh, for for the ones are asking why we don't use Renko, because unlike minutes, and the minutes can uh, reveal the, the, the true uh, power of that auto trade you are using, and the indicator in that matter, uh, you can see uh, that uh, uh, if it's uh, reliable or not, and once you are done with the minutes, then you can move to uh, takes range, and uh, as long as that auto trade works in minutes. If that auto trade does not work in, in one minute, that means it's wasting time trying to tweak an auto trade where it doesn't work. The basic is gone. If the minutes do not work, then nothing is going to work. And if you notice here also, we just have one closing position on the decks. I mean, I cannot put all of them here on uh, one screen. Now we just have a closing position also on the 244, and it is 1400. And at the bottom here, we can see there is a 30 year treasury bond, 800, and then 750 on the YM 445. 30-year treasury bond. I mean, this is a very slow because the 30-year treasury bond on the Globex. And um, we'll try now what we will do. We reset everything and uh, get them ready. In um, 45 minutes, the market's open. And then uh, we will cover uh, at the end of the session what happened. And I will try. We have a lot of requests to share our free signals. Uh, when we are going live uh, on a YouTube with it. Uh, we had some traders has been copying our signals. A lot of requests. I apologize. I've been very busy. Uh, but I will try my best today uh, to, by the way, let's look at it, uh, try to, uh, to share our signals with it. But let me find it. It's a little bit messy here. If I can find uh, the market analyzer. We will try to see what happened. Okay, here's the first one now. We have a new signals coming up on um, the euro. And let's see if I can find the market analyzer. Um, it's been a little bit messy today. Apologize, guys. Okay. And now we have the futures now uh, fixing to open. So. Uh, this the signal you should be start uh, trading those signals around 9:45. Nevertheless, uh, on the DAX we have uh, beautiful ride this morning, but now we have a new buying signal. At the moment, we are in the 65 ticks on the uh, DAX, and then we have uh, 91 ticks, and they're, they're all new signals right now, and. Uh, and uh, it will pull up and back, but we'll try to share our signal today uh, uh, right after the opening around 10 o'clock, and then we will cover today, the end of the day, what happened with the automated trading. Folks, uh, today is going to be a big rally in the market. It's going to be a very strong movement uh, and uh, good volatility, and we are expecting... Uh, it is actually today uh, it's going to be uh, very good for um, uh, auto trading uh, because if this market moving your auto trade is gonna uh, be extreme uh, profitable when when uh, the market is flat there is nothing we can do about it you need to call it off early of the day if you see this market is not trending then it is very strongly it doesn't matter which uh, auto trade you are using from us or somebody else. Uh, if this market is getting stuck in the channels and it's not going anywhere, that can cause damage to any manual or automated trading. So today uh, we are expecting a huge movement in the market and I'm expecting really a serious uh, 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 trading. So unlike yesterday, I mean, it was okay later on in the afternoon, but here's the problem. Uh, in the morning yesterday, 
uh, the market was very chop and it was really, really start, really, it was a bit nasty. So here is the problem. In the afternoon, the market start moving. Fair enough. But this guy start at 9.30. By 12 o'clock, he's in trouble, is no longer able emotionally or financially, if he have a smaller account, to continue to, um, uh, to uh, 3.30 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So the movement happened in the afternoon where everything was in red in the morning and then everything start turning in a green uh, in the afternoon yesterday. So what I'm saying is it is very important your stop loss has to be a little bit more civilized. It should not be no more than 10 takes or 15 takes. This is, this is really important on, on the trade-in to, uh, to have a smaller uh, stop losses so that will uh, make you uh, able you to survive when the market is a little bit um, uh, sideways or, or um, you know, getting stuck between channels and when there is no movement, how you expect in that auto trade uh, to make ticks for you. So again, uh, when, as an example, if we take today, uh, on the DAX, um, because the market moved, that will be very nice. But if we look in this area here, if you are trading in those area here, there is no movement actually to make any, uh, any takes, and that can get you in a lot of trouble. So to cut the story short, if this market moving, we will be making money. If the market not moving, it is time to, to say, okay, there is no movement in the market. Maybe I need to stop um, the auto trades right now. Or it is a very good idea to start on a sim for half an hour before the market is open. That can give you indication if you're, the type of an auto trade you are using is going to be uh, be accepted on the way this market moving. Folks, God bless you all, and uh, see you uh, um, um, in the uh, later on in the session today. God bless you all.